Hello, guys. Welcome to Practice Strokes. Today, we're going to be talking about how to put all these pretty uh, flowers and berries inside of jars and making that really simple for you. So the good thing I want to share with you is I have a new collection of stencils. And even on our site, you'll see that Shell, uh, Michelle James also has joined me with some collections of her own that are going to help you with elements for being able to make quick and easy paintings. So I want to get right into this and get started. This is a Christmas project I'm doing on wood and we are teaching this like a beginner fast, fast class. And so let me show you, there's some technique that you need to know about this. So I'm going to have a canvas, all right? And this is 11 by 14 canvas. This is how my stencil comes that I made. And so let me put back on the script maybe. All right, there we go. So it's got too much glare, sorry. All right, so it's got all types of bottles and jars and even in the mason jar. But what I want you to know is when you go to my site, I probably have a five of the most or the best selling um, jar paintings that I've done with everything from fall to Christmas and more. And so the project I just showed you is one that um, I'm going to, that is also in the packet that I did for convention. So go check those out. It has a variety of projects along with the Christmas project. And that's one of the small Christmas projects. One base or many bases. And I even put this for the perfume bottle. See that little writing for the perfume bottle. So this is what I want to share with you. I can start out with a white canvas is exactly what I started out with on um, one of the other projects I did. This one that I showed you here, sorry. This I put a light gray so you can kind of see through what's happening here with the green. Um, and I just want you to see how how we make this happen. OK, we can use stencil brushes, a variety of different sizes. We have stencil brushes and the sponge daubers. They just have sparkles in them. All right. So I'm going to pick up um, some paint here and show you how I'm going to decide where I'm going to put it. and. Uh, for one, here's some paint I already had started. So this is what I'll show you how we're going to do it. All right. So two ways. I'm going to show you if you use a, um, a stencil brush. And let's say we're going to do some purple. This is Violet Pansy. All right. So then I can see how I'm going to work it off. Or you can even go to paper towel and work it off. All right. Because you don't want it to ooze out. All right. I'm going to use a white background, right? So we can, let's make that one. This one's going to be down here. Find a spot that's easy to hold it to. I can line up this little line here. All right. And I can put a piece of tape in here. All right. So I will be finishing this project and showing it to you on here on um, when you, on what do you call it? That's too much bright. On the thumbnail that shows you what you're gonna be watching. There we go, too bright there. All right, so make sure it's all lined up straight. That's straight. Okay, and I am going to make a circle in here and then go back and forth like this. Okay, what's on this one brush is enough to go all the way around using a stencil brush. Okay, all right, so see that just makes a nice line for you. Now I'm going to come here and wipe this a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to come right here and just make sure the reason I'm wiping this real quick is to make sure when I move it around, see it doesn't make this line on here from the back side. All right. So now let's move it over and let's put the perfume bottle here. Okay. All right. Now on this perfume bottle, I am going to show you using the daubers, okay? So I want a little bit of citrus. 
All right. So I'm going to take citrus green. This is just my multi-surface paint. All right. And you can push down and do the same thing with a dauber. Okay. Circles are bouncing. Okay. Now I'm going to move this up. See right there. And afterwards, I'm going to come right here and put this word on top of it, if I remember, okay. All right, so I don't wanna put it now because I wanna get my greens, my shading in here. Now, I'm gonna put these in the water so that they don't dry up on me. And then I'm gonna use, let's um, use a 16. I already have some medium out here. I didn't wanna waste this paint, so I hope you guys don't mind me jumping in and using it. So floating medium, and I'm gonna side load, sorry, get it here. Side load the violet pansy. And we wanna make it look like it's transparent, remember? You wanna see through it, but I want it so like you can see the base of the bottle, all right? So I'm gonna come right in here and go along the edge so there's no breaks. With stencils, you have to have the breaks, right? So all you're gonna do on this first is come around with medium and violet pansy. All right, so we're gonna shade all along here. A little bit of shading. All right. This is just a real important little guy for you to see. Now, don't go away because I'm going to be showing you all kinds of tricks on this one so you understand how this is working. All right, so this has all the little highlights and grooves for the screwed area there. I'm going to come around here. Now, this is my biggest problem with my students in class when we did all these fun jar projects is that everybody had lopsided jars. We would sit there and draw them and try to get them perfect and give them a pattern and they would also still not get it perfect. So mm -hmm. when we did this at my convention, everybody's was perfect shapes. <laughs> so tell me what you think about our programs that I have on. Tell me if you tried or you want to join, come check out join. When you hit join, I have a membership for one stroke painters that will teach you some amazing techniques and subjects that you might not have ever thought you would paint. And now you can paint them. And we paint together every week. And I got a little, if you have this background base coated, then this wouldn't happen. You could come in here and easily take it off. But I did it right away. I'm okay, right? So I'm, um, but if it, if you had the background, you can just wipe it with a, you know, a wet brush and take it off or a wet paper towel. All right. So now that we've got that outside, then I'm going to come in here. Uh, so go check out the One Stroke Advantage membership, guys, and see everywhere I can take you to with painting, you won't believe that you've done it. And you have over 14 months of paintings, lessons that you can take any you want while you're a member. So go check that out and you don't even have to download them. They stay there for you. All right, as long as you're a member. Okay, so I'm gonna just rub this in just a little bit. Okay, give you the lavender touch there. Okay, so let's go here. I want to show you one more. We're going to come here with citrus. We're going to come around here. Oops, I got a little big, but I told you how to take that away. All right. And we're going to come around here. Now, I'm going to show you how you stencil that word on here. Now, I have to go back up to here, back up to there and then back up to here before you come down or you won't be able to do those the screw part of that jar. Or you can make that a pretty cap and let it not have flowers in it. You know what I'm saying? You can just make this a bottle of perfume. 
Okay. All right. I gotta clean this off because you see I got a little spot there. Just water cleans it right off. All right. Now let's pick up floating medium a little teeny bit more. You do the back of the bottom. You know what I mean? This is um, your eyes can trick you on this one. This can look like it's in front or it can look like it's in the back. But if my mind's telling you that that is in the back of the inside of the jar, see the back of the inside of the jar. All right. And then this is the front of the jar. So if you're looking through the clear jar now, if this overlaps, you would show the purple, let it totally dry, lay the green over it. So it's a clear bottle that sees the purple through it. OK, now this is what I do. If I'm going to put something in here, for instance, let me show you that's step one. Then you have to let this dry before you do step two. But I can come right in here. And I just want to make sure that I don't crack through the glass. All right. Because sometimes people will be doing this and they go right off here. So you've got to come through the bottle and make sure this is too thin there, too much floating medium. All right. So we can just put a couple in here. And I have just put one flower in here before. All right. Now leaves wouldn't be in the water, right? You could put a water line across here if you want. But whatever you decide to do on that um, will make a difference. OK, so we can take and just do a few. We can even put some purple in the leaves. All right. So this, I'm just doing a fun part. Look at this. We put some purple, some foliage that has lots of purple in it is fun. Or some berries. All right. So I'm going to just leave that because I'm just trying to give you the feel of it, right? I am so blown out. I'm sorry. This is making it so bright. Okay. Now, what happens here, I know I'm going a little bit longer, but I want to show you some fun uh, steps. Come on. We're trying to make this come up a little bit so you don't have all that clear. All right. So let's look at this. Now, this um, over here, I'm going to just get a little bit. of sap, of sap, it looks a little bit like thicket. It might be the thickest of the sap. All right, so I can come right here. Ah, oh, I don't want all that dark green. Let's use citrus. Okay, there we go. A little white. I'm <laughs> sorry, it's giving me a bad time. Citrus, white with purple. All right, I am a stroke again. So here we go. All right, so we're gonna bring a stem in there. And I can just put a couple of um, small little blossoms in here. But right now, I'm just putting greenery just so I can show you how this happens. OK, now I have to blow dry this. So stay with me. I got, I'm got excited to share with you. OK, so what I did was I showed you how to repair if I use too much floating medium. <laughs> so you saw me do that. Um, now, this is what I want to share with you. We, oops, that is a little bit there. All right, so now what happens is we can come, we can get a little floating medium, some citrus, and even some of this um, sap. Um, this is thicket, actually. I thought it was sap. All right, so look, now we're on the front of the bottle. Okay, so we go right back over that, and we can shade it a little bit more here. Okay, now I'm going to take the medium 
and I'm going to go across the bottle. Okay, so on here it doesn't really matter because it's green and you don't see it very much. But what happens is that this is going to give you the glare. And then when you go over the stem, usually it makes a big difference. But because this is kind of both green, it's not, not showing you much, okay? Okay, I'm going to put a white glare. You don't want to leave before you see the white glare, okay? Now on here, I'm going to take the medium and the violet pansy. And I can even pick up a teeny bit of white to make it a little bit lighter if I want. And so you want to go over this. So it, the greens underneath the, this front glass. See right there? So we're going to come right here on top. Whatever color you, you're doing now, you're going to medium and put that there. If you get too heavy, guys, just go back and get more medium. We'll wipe some of it off. So I want this to be a lavender vase. And the green looks like it's inside because we uh, put the stems first. Okay, so there we are. Don't go away and put the white glare. But we've got to dry this. That one little spot right there is still wet. But what I want to share with you now is putting on the white glare. All right. Now I want to first do this for the forest right here. I'm going to put it there. I'm worried because that green's wet. All right. And I'm going to just come in here and I need to use a stencil. I'm going to take off the purple violet pansy. The brush was too wet. All right, I can hold this and lift. Oh, it works. See, I, if I tape it down, I can lift it. So think about that. I'm teaching you something bad by not taping it down. But then I can come in here with some white. See that? And I can come across here a little bit, get a little bit of white. I might not want the white, but I'm going to try it. So let's see if we like it. There we go. It's purple, this, this right here, got too much paint. Okay, there we go. Now, so any shape bottle you want, all right, I'm going to then put the glare I told you about. Uh, okay. Have you learned anything yet? All right, so I'm going to touch the white. Tap it right here. And I'm going to touch and I'm going to pull. So I can get a teeny bit of medium and work that into the white. Depends on how white your white is. I mean, how dry or thin. All right, I could put a glare. Now the glare across here would be a curve. All right. And then I do right here. All right, and then I can even come right in here to the bottle. Okay. Right here. And I can do this little glare across the bottom here a little bit. You see that? And a little bit of glare right here and here and here. So just a little bit. Isn't that kind of cool? Now you can add fluffs and hydrangeas or berries or whatever you want on here. I just want you to see that if I'm using green, I can take and make my glare out here. So here's so this, this right here is sitting on the table. See that? I hope you haven't gone away yet because there's a lot to learn here. Okay. Then I can come right across here for this glare. See how I put a little bit of purple in it? 
because it's the shining that purple on that side. And then a little bit of green here, a little bit more green. Isn't this fun? And it's so fun because you don't have to stress about drawing the bottles and getting that all done. And you get this fun look. All right, I can put my finger and rub that out. The only thing I did here is I have it along the bottle. I'll take it off the bottle. There you are. Now, what do you think about that? Well, I think it needs a little bit more purple in here. Okay, there we go. So try it. The stencils are fun. All your bottles ready to go. This is on onestroke.com. Come check me out. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.